second in command, a P250 for the aforementioned, and he's equipped to take a long range fight with those USPs. Oh, down to one config already. Feeling the brunt of that Hampus USP on the other side of things. Bit of util left over here. Smoke's deployed. Main smoked off. I think they went across secret here. Shouldn't have too many issues. Ezra smoked off, and down they go. No info. We're going to play a lower here. Rotations early out of NIP. It's up to Plopsky. He needs a quick headshot, and already Lucky evades the first. Oh, Config's lucky to have gotten away and across. Blame still trifling with Plopsky, and it's Device's Jewelies that fill the feed first. Now Config. How did he even get a kill? I'm not sure. And a 4v4. Bomb in that lower side. They still have Glaive worming around this flank. Yeah, I think they might want to double back here, committing to lower with the rotation in. Reza sniffing this one out. He's aware. He is aware. It's a hard clear. Glaive set for success. No armor on this, and that's the kit as well. Should Rez fall and the bomb be planted, retrieval problematic. And there you have it. Rez deletes him. No issues now. And Estrada, they're running out of options here, Chad. Yeah, they have to finish B right now. You can see they're pushing in now towards the window side. Blame is on a bit of a lurk here. Is he going to initiate first or is he going to allow Config on the low HP with Lucky? He can't get another one. No, nope. I refuse. Okay, Config, not bad. Not bad at all. Down the vents they go. Device already found one on the dual Berettas and fancies his chances up against the boulder, but just about. Blame gets it across the line. S attack to finish Finally. the job. They are so low. Where's Lucky going? Why is this the longest round in Counter-Strike history? There's nine seconds into the plan. They have to get this down right now. Please. They can't contest. It'll be close. Coming in decon. Esetag needs this. They are both aware, both relatively low. And Blame just stands his ground. 16 points of health between the two of them. Rez with a click oh, that's and a second. There's the flourish and the finish. 3-0 and one of the longest pistols I've seen. Yeah, and you could just see it was getting whittled away across the board. Astralis didn't feel like they were in too much of a chance with that, especially with the early damage done to Config. Now, I just want to do a bit more scene setting here. Last time round, we just had Blast go down. There was the bottom five players, Esetag and Rez, both found themselves within those bottom five. So Rez getting a couple of big kills here is a great way to kickstart his confidence because he's a necessary component of NIP if they want to be competitive. Now, this is a best of one. I know Astralis beat them just the other day quite handedly, but Astralis is a team in flux. I think there's a real opportunity for NIP, which now <laughs> would be an upset win, uh, to come to fruition right here. Upset win. Yeah. I have uh, a couple of little technical issues here. Is, uh, well, half the place. Netherlands, Netherlands. Yes, yeah, lots of, lots of fans, right? Uh, which which stands for not live, uh, in case you were unfamiliar. Device just made the same joke as me in the chat. Oh, he did too. Yeah, me, Great minds, they that's say. What, that's what they say. Great said. minds. Me and Deve. Me and Deve. And, uh, you know, I suppose... Ah, Counter -Strike. I don't know when it's coming, but it is. It will, at some point. But we can get into the action because Astralis, awesome. with the bomb plant, and don't forget, came down to a 1v1. Uh, we are going to have a very competitive second round here, regardless of the NIP win. AK out for config. That's one thing to keep in mind here. And some massive gaps within those smokes right there. Catastrophic so, gap. Yeah, that's a lot of utility to have dropped early here. Hampus with all of the line of sight he needs, even a buddy up towards that heaven position. So all the info in their favor. This one is going to come down to the fights here. Three towards yard, two towards lobby. And it looks like Hampus and Defiance are going to be the first to receive this scouting party. Oh, that should have been his. Hampus with only the FAMAS wins it out. And an early advantage. Rez pressured. Trophy deploys some nades towards that ramp room, and now Hampus tucked in tight. They're going to leave Blame here for the lurk. Glaive's got the bomb. He's dropped all the way back towards lobby now. Going to meet up with Zip and Lucky, but this is big issues. They only have that one flash and a HE of Zip here. If they want to go for a ramp explode, that would make sense, but Rez with the M4 should be able to mow them down here. Gorgeous looking M4 as well. Just rot in the clock. Exchange of weapons. Nades and about that 40 second mark. Oh, back up as well. Fades. Yeah, they're coming in. Perfect read from the ninjas here. They'll have a two man defense. Res for first contact, baiting in that close corner of device. And he's enough of a deterrent, I think. They might actually just be sent back to lobby. Yeah, Zip eventually is felled. And now, well, Lucky and Glaive feeling the brunt of that damage. What do you do with this? Uh, the thing is, 20 seconds left. They have to go here. Just you, die or yeah. plan or die. Uh, they're up for the die. Die's usually the, the best option here. Blame, normally considering the save option, is actually going to have a look on in. No kill for him on Therese right there. Falls and the AK will be scooped up. So uh, they've been able to get that into the hands here of Plopsky. 
plenty of rifles to go around, but a flat start here from Astralis. Once Config's dead, once those smoke walls didn't land as anticipated, that's the round done, right? You didn't get any space. You didn't get an opening kill. You have nothing to work with in that environment right there. And just pick them on up. But Rez continuing this good form, really something to contrast his performance. So we'll keep an eye on that. And have a look, Hampus is so aware right now that they are up against an eco round. He's sticking with the USP only. Deagles on the other side could cause him some dramas here. Oh, he's a little... Rascal. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Looks like they want to come test Rez again. They're feeding him here early. Yeah, let's go. Let's go farm. And then he can take a screenshot, post it on Twitter about three rounds in. Oh, the Harry Russell special. That's what they call it. Perfect. Gets the frag and actually, yeah, got a bit greedy. Doesn't cost him anything. Just about slips away. He's got a lot of pressure. Clave tested next and he is just racking him up. 10 and 0. Untouchable at the moment. Can anyone bring him down to size? He's taken a couple of bullets to the chin, living on and safe. Clean sweep for the ninjas. 3-0. Good to see we have our easy in the server here today, and even a bit of a smile on his face right there. Maybe it's just the home ground advantage, NIP in Sweden. Yeah, maybe. Charles in Denmark. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Probably not, but maybe. Yeah. Maybe, there's, <laughs> maybe there's some Swedes shouting shoot as well in front of them. <laughs> oh, dear. You don't love to see that. Here we go, first gun round, about to get underway here. Five AK-47s in the hands of Astralis here. Plenty of util to boot. That's the Canadians of... Boot in the boot. Rubbing off on me here. There's the, the smoke scoot. walls coming in, and they've actually dropped a bit of a diagonal wall here. Blame to lurk behind this. It does have Glaive overseeing business, but I think they just want to take a bit of territory towards Yard, and they do have the room to do so. You can see quite a turtle setup here from NIP. Very heavy towards that top site. Haven't actually rotated heavily towards that lower section of the map just yet. And They're really fades. waiting for something to be given to them here. Yeah, but they've been loving this boost. We saw both teams just the other day love this CT side vent boost. Now, there's only one player there for now. We'll keep an eye on that. Zip smoked off again, and they will be aware that this is a problem. We've got Rush Lee on the ones and twos today, haven't we? Yeah, we can't hear him, though. He's at home in his little bedroom. But isn't that exciting, everyone? Rush Lee's giving you that Counter-Strike story once It has again. been a while, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it has. I've kind of, kind of missed him. This is a back sight, Molly, here. Now, there's three players still towards Yard. They're not really set up to use this if Glaive was to throw like it early. Freak, I guess. It has to be. They're hoping to get the CTs moving or at least keep their feet planted. And they're just crossing secrets, so it's all the ruse. Yeah, it's enough just to draw eyes. No smoke's necessary. It's quite smart, but they have lost Zip. And Hampus immediately, he knows, he knows. Oh, knife out. Oh, he's not ready for that. Turns his back, config spanks, and now an Astralis advantage. With 30 seconds left, the bomb should be going down uncontested. Device through ramp. Hard sight to break back into, but Lucky loses his head. Glaive tested two here. Oh, and they've found another. This retake is on, like Donkey Kong. And from boulder to barrel, he's gonna have to find a head. They can't, they can't go down. Every member of NIP, Plopsky now with a double has delivered, it's up to config. Hard shot, and Plopsky will make it a triple. What a retake from the ninjas. It was looking fantastic for Astralis, right up until it didn't. Looked really good, right? Hampus dropping down Ven and getting caught off guard there, wasn't even aware of the strategy, right? That was when the warning bells really started to sound. Great recovery. Oh, I think Threat will be very happy with that one. Uh, we got some more tech issues, everybody. So we'll Dragon now on a rifle. So a different, a different yeah. taste, a different speed. And current messaging, not only from Sports Director, which is Pinch of Salt, but from Glaive's mouth as well, that this is for the foreseeable future. This is something they're going to commit to. And obviously, if it is completely uh, barren of success, they might readdress. OK, well, we're back into the gun rounds here. Same look and play. This is very default heavy from Astralis, right? There's no rush. I need to get too ahead of themselves here. A bit of a gap for Rez to work with, but nobody prying on the other side. Device is passive with the AWP. You can see this time round, not in the yard. Hampus, he wants a little bit of a fight. He's going to get one. I don't know if he's going to clear his corner here, Alex. Lame faffing around with his oh! aids, and he goes down. Might have been a glance at the radar there, but loses his opportunity. Hampus reacts in time. He whiffs his smoke, but game on. NIP set for a fifth here. Device can already relay the information that they can cross secret. He has no information at all, and there is bodies behind it. About 10 seconds left on them. Hampus 
tucks into the top site. Who will address that low it slip? It is Hampus. It He's is, rotated oh, straight me. on down, right? So found that kill is rotated under here. Has the incendiary in hand on the jiggle. We'll get the spot drops that. Buys them about seven seconds here. But thrust forward is Glaive wanting to apply a bit more pressure. Bomb is already down towards that lower side of things, but it doesn't have to be their final destination. Here we go. Hampus looking for more impact. He's already taken down the scalp of Blame. And now, once again, repositioning. He has Rez in support, but top side's open now. Zip has found Esatag. That's a big death. And to top feels like the call here, but Glaive... He's stuck. Got the bomb. Yeah, and he's being pressured. Rez once more. That's a 12th and the bomb locked now at 20 seconds. They're running out of players and time. Config, no hope. And Rez secures his 13th. This, Chad, I mean, we talk about his individual performances. The first thing you brought up and we're now tracking a real spike out of Rez. This is great. See how far he can fly. Yeah, this is the thing, right? Is he going to cool off or is he going to continue this level of form? And I'm not saying even within this map, it's the tournament, right? If you missed the dialogue previously, and probably a lot of you did, bottom five player within Blast just a couple of days ago here. So this is a completely different different looking res out the gates. But the buyer will be back in from Astralis. Four AKs and the Deagle for Glaive. And the difference maker in the last round of play was Hampus going on a little bit of a looky-loo and finding that opening on Blame. Can he make that happen again? Oh, lovely. He's created a huge gap there. Hampus deliberately disrupts. Bit of a Grand Canyon type vibe with that there. But they've been able to... Drop another smoke to make their life a little bit easier. But it's just Blame working towards Yard. Four players over towards Lobby. Popsky again over towards this Venn. Ooh, and they're looking bait. to do the boost. So we yeah. have seen a bunch of this. Nice mix-up of it. Of course, very susceptible to a Molotov. I have to be aware of it now. These teams use it against each other just the other day. Plopsky's equipped with a smoke, though, so that's bang, and they can at least get themselves out of dodge without that guaranteed double. And look how deep the angle is. It's even into the uh, the lobby line. Yeah, it makes life very difficult. And, well, oh, Config, is he aware? Esatag playing on the peak here. He's going to have to jiggle out at some point to take the fight. Two players potentially stepping into his cross at any moment any right now. second, this is it. Oh, Molly, where's the extinguish? It's instantaneous. He still has vision, but they can spray him. Vulnerable to wall bangs. They know exactly where you are. This could be a double. HE as well for Blaine this if he can get there. And badly. They're He's just crawling away. Where's the support? Lucky's found device elsewhere. Oh, this happened. And they still haven't got him. Config actually gets a double. And that's the end of that. It was a nice attempt from the ninjas, but that, just like that, the site is lost and hampered with an ambitious one on the ladder. Chipping away at Config. This should be the end of that. Just looking to save as Rez cowers in spawn. I say that, Hampus advancing. Rez is already posturing to save. I guess we hear Hampus would rather head towards the warehouse or spawn. But yeah, it does look like we're having a couple. Maybe it's just us. You know uh, all you the know audio what? issues. Yeah, I'm not gonna all the that. audio issues that seem to have, it's just you and me. Also, but I'll take this over a server issue. Yes, you know, yes, yes. Like, At least the game's going. It's going. It just is different for us. Well, I was just messaging the producer right there and I accidentally started calling Parlor. So you, there's technical issues for us here as well, just trying to trying to get the message out there. But uh, there you go. Astralis bounced back immediately. So we are having a bit more of a rally of rounds here, more competitive. And the ones who this is going to multiple me members able to actually pincer on in on that position, you can see just how stranded they were right there. So NIP feeling the brunt of that one. Well, back out for device here. AK still retained. And well, both teams looking at a full buy. This it must be a deliberate gap on Reza Smoke. He's thrown it multiple times and takes down Zip with ease as well. Okay, 15 and counting. Well, he certainly hasn't cooled off yet. Device. Ooh, that's on him. Just through the pipe. Config saved by the stainless steel. And advancing now are Astralis. Blame. Usual sweep, usual flight path. And again, a dis... Actually, I was going to say disrupted smoke. It was just a little late to arrive. He's got a lot of room to maneuver here. Oh, and a chance. A big one onto Hampus. Doesn't quite find it, but the pressure is on now. Swedes under the thumb. Glaive catches one down to four. Lots of progress. Device catching another onto Lucky. So surely this one just peters out into nothingness. Yeah, Blame is the only player in a position to have done anything here, but that Molly's going to hold him at bay for now. Config in the meantime going to go down here as Rez continues. 16 for him as the packs just keep on coming. Blame will get something done. Hampus falls Rez with another, and it is just the big man himself. Blame left in a one on four situation with 35 seconds left on the clock. He's going to walk into this orb here. He can wait out. He can go for the save. Uh, that is fine. But if he wants to step on in, we'll have to deal with the AK of Rez. I can't believe he has so many kills already. 
I, I can't remember a game he had at Blast where he had 17 kills, right? And maybe with the overtime affair that they had right there. But this is wild scenes. It is great to see him showing what he's got. And that was one of the big questions. That was one of the things that we wanted to see because we know Rez is a great player. We've seen it before. We want to see it again. And we're getting it right now. Device having a little bit of a edge forward here, but does not want to give that AWP up. Round time will expire. And we'll call that 6-2 to two right now as NIP continue to lather some rounds up on the board. Close games. It would be, I mean, it's just, yeah, so poetic, almost unscriptable. Oh, this one's slowing down again here, right? Astralis are in absolutely no rush with these gun rounds here. And that's contrary to the type of Counter-Strike that they were playing over at Blast. It was very erratic, quite chaotic, very individual based. Now, remember, a lot of the best work from Astralis over there did come on their CT side. So if you're a Dane, don't worry just yet. Maybe you're a Dane who's a device fan, and then maybe you can. As uh, smokes are being lined up one more time, this time the AWP over towards that secret position. Molly's in the air, going to hold device at bay here. Actually, he is above, so won't have to worry too much. Can keep up this line of sight and can call an awful lot here. Early information currently just in the favor of NIP. As regathering back towards lobby for one more time will be Astralis. I mean, it just looks the same. Let's see if they can find a different result. Flames put his name in the feed early. Up to Hampus and Essatag, and Rez is even contributing again. 18 and counting. Still alive. And that bomb yet to be planted. Loose now in front of the squeaky door. Hampus relocating. He's got device for some util to oh. dump. And that'll buy time. If there's a smoke on top of that, which it sounded like there was, Squeak is out of action. Config is fully in the site. But yeah, this bomb retrieval is everything. And they haven't got a smoke. You can see there is one idle. Good flash. Through they go. Hampus again. More headshots from him. A very impactful double. And now counting. That's a great shot out of config. Device to clutch. It surely favors him with this bomb. They have to close and hunt the gap. He is going to relocate. Might have done it. He might have already done time. it. That's time. Oh, oh the just. Moonwalk. Config with half a second to spare. Says play on. Okay. This gets hard now for Device. That's a shot. Glaive caught, and now another <laughs> config trying to take a chance. And Device manages his angles to perfection. That momentary gap on the bolt, you think that's your chance to relocate. You think, come to Vistaprint or any other <laughs> for your bargain. Well, this is a pace deal. change. Here we go. Let's see what Esa Tag's got. He's just about got his vision back as Plopski goes one and done. Here's the Esa Tag one and the same. Now they're into the top side. Device has got a timer on this. He might be able to disrupt the plant with that incendiary. He's biding his time with it. They got a bit crowded up there towards heaven, didn't it? Just it res yeah, and not, device. Not. Good nade, chips away. Blame low, three on three. And here comes the, oh, I thought wave of utility, but not. Hampus smoked off with a bit of a gap here to work with. He's going to like this. A third successful retake from Astralis already. Uh, from Astralis, NIP. I saw a device and got confused. And there's Lucky's. Contribution. Bomb ticket in their favor here. Hampus and Device running out of time and chances just smoked off. Going to have to accept their fate Save on this four. one. Yeah, and so a third is secure. And Blame what, had locked the door on this. He was already coming around heaven, you can see here. What is, the, what is the difference then? I mean, they, it's not like Astralis are doing anything particularly different. I guess the frags this time, the one, the limiting those topside defenders to one and losing their AWPA as well. Uh, I think it was extremely different. They rushed top, right? They hadn't done anything fast right. up to that point. Up, it had all been default heavy using the yard smokes. There they actually just took the fight to them. But it is surprising that they overran them so easily. And we did find ourselves in this three on three. I think Lucky here, you're going to see what he has to offer. Bang. But this is already seemingly broken NIP. Now, they, they have been able to buy back in. Device does get the AWP back out. There's two M4s in play, but it is Deagles. And they're light on util. Not even a single diffuse kit here to boast. But you can't go back to that if you're Astralis, right? That, that's very problematic. You can't just keep doing top hits. You need to make something work. But this is Pacey again. Secret Smoke's down immediately. This time, no gap forced. And they are across. So mm. if that's the shift, if all it took was a hard top to get Astralis back in this, Already a bit more pep in their step as Blame searching. Hard shot, very hard to hit and at least wards Rez off. The presence noted. Ampus responsible for ramp with only a deagle. He's gonna have a lot of nade thrown his way and an opportunity does go awry. So do the bullets. He's got two here in the low site. So not an easy one well, to coming. break. Yeah, this could fall apart. Rez looking oh. for more, just a little bit shy of the head. Device has got one back into the feed, but this one could very well be done.
Now, the reason that looks so desperate, right, you, you're thinking, why are they just forcing that fight, was because that flank was coming on in, right? There was already the space taken behind them there, and they under new, uh, understood that Blame had already had that secret control, right? So eventually he was going to come behind them and, and pince them in. It was going to become uh, very, very awkward. If they can hang on to the guns this time round and not get hunted by Astralis, it will give NIP something to work with going forward here. But what was a flying start it can quickly evaporate now. Lost bonus in the previous round was bottom of the barrel. This time going forward, it will be 1,900, meaning they will not be able to get a buy going. Upgrades around. Silent Stem 4 for config here. Very popular, the Silent Stem 4. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thought? When, when the update first happened, right, for people unawares, we live in Malta, and our ping is a little bit higher than everybody else's. And uh, I was doing a bit of streaming. A guy came into the stream. He goes, hey, Sponge, what do you think of the Silent Stem 4? And I was like, nah, man, this is rubbish, right? Because on the higher ping, Silent Stem 4 feels very, very slow, yeah. right? And then uh, after a, a second consideration... Like the, the, the kind of, of sweep quick. of the mouse... They don't have that instant mini-map icon. They have to wait for a relay of information. If it was gathered, Config again hunting for Device's head. He found it once, and it looks like it's Astralis is set for a fifth here. As I say that, Zip, early cancellation handed to him and a weapon. Oh, you'll take that. Is it handed to Esa Tag? Yeah. Yes, it is. Lovely retrieval. And he's got armor as well, right? Because he carried the Deagle across here. So that's actually great for Esa Tag. It's three functional rifles right now. And if he can drop that Deagle across to a Hampus or a Rez at some point within this round, starting to look real juicy. Yeah, a tut of the tongue, I'm sure, for Astralis as they lose Zip so early into the piece. Now Lobby is a responsibility of Lucky. He was supposed to be joining the gang. Now he has to keep that aggression caged. This is back to what didn't work, right? Where they did these crawls towards Yard. Blame has some company in config and Glaive isn't too far behind. And they will get the space they're looking for here. Now, if they want to creep around towards Heaven, Rez would be the first, but Lucky draws even. Hampus down, information gathered, and now they're looking to pin down on his position. Plopsky forward in Squeaky. Lucky seems aware that this is happening right now. He's given him a lot of room. Just needs to get info, and that's where he'll find it, up towards oh. T-Roof. Rez has moved. He was towards this box, just the right-hand side of Config, and he's been drawn back because of the death of Hampus right now. So Heaven is open for business. Time, though, Again. sub 30 seconds. Super low on time here, fellas. It worked once. Can it, it work again? Split. It has it to will. be a top split. Glaive's got the bomb and an AWP. We'll have to bring it through. Clear heart device is aggressive. They'll have to try and find him. It's actually going to work in his favor. A hard shot Enemies. to hit, yeah. But it's Glaive it's down loose. and out. The bomb. the bomb is loose. Lucky has to move fast. I don't think they have time for this. The bomb's still loose at five. No way, unless they kill everyone. Rez, hide, cowering in fear, and no time to plant the bomb. Call it eight. Astral is a valiant attempt, but that was, I mean, at what, two save rifles? Yeah, well, there was the saved AWP, a saved M4, and Estag had the Deagle that opened up the account here. So they, they milk the most out of those guns, but the impact kill of the round has to be given to Plopsky. That bomb getting dropped late on Glaive, the difference maker. They just didn't have enough time to get on in there, and Rez gets to win the clutch just by staying alive alone. And Lucky did a good job here, right? He's picking up kills. I know it's very late within the round. But just trying to come back through lobby late once they know that you're the only defender, that's not easy to do. But back into the buys, both teams. Not great for NIP, even though they won that round. Early exchange of damage. This time round, Plopsky down to 37 points of health here. He's going to have to operate as the walking wounded. But Astralis, it was the pace changes that profited for them, and now they've just gone back to the slower crawl. Can they make it work? Because we're getting to the tail end right now of the first half. Intimidating yard setup. Hampus will have to be reserved in his defense here. Here comes the wall. On that 72nd mark as Lucky lines up the third component. And off they go. Sailing through the sky. Hampus to react. He will be Molotov down. He won't be able to get any info as to whether or not this is just a fake. Well, at least for another five seconds. Four, three, two, and Blame has maneuvered straight through their own wall. We won't get info on that. Not at all. That's good from Device, though. Just the head of Config. Oh, That's all it takes. That name. Pocket. Damn, straight down his pants. Oh, and Blame struggles. Device contributes again. This looks set for a ninth, and now Glaive's Orb is there we good go. for it. He knows Hampus was secret side. They still have at least two more components to it. Lucky and Zip in lobby. CS Tang and Plopsky's setup is dynamic. Rez is working on a flank as well. I don't well know timed. if they're ready. 
Well timed. Hidden, but they're so distracted. Lucky, will you consider it? Will you consider it? The answer's no, and that's the bomb again. Impact fragging. Zip has saved Astralis, albeit for a second, but this clock is their worst enemy. Nine, eight. I'm just going to have to count because there's the end of the round. Zip, no hope, no health, and just looking to hold on to what he can. Well, that right there could have been the difference between, uh, I suppose, like a nine, six, half. If they get that, the money's not great for an IP still. But yeah, you're right. It really is a timing issue here. Plus, they'd love to win this one in a position to get that 9-6 half. Not done yet as, wow, we're back to business as usual. Surely this time they are going to get a bit more pep in the step. They are going to have to react a little bit quicker. You can't be running the clock down like that round after round. No, and we have to also just take note that Device has been so proactive. We've seen him yard, we've seen him aggressive hut, and now we've seen him trophy. They're just throwing him around, looking for an Aggie opener. Smoked off now, it's Hampus for a little Hampus's responsibility. That's the remix. Wiki, wiki, wiki. I don't fancy their chances here. The whole pack silently advancing towards secret. And that's S attack now with a smoke. He'll likely drop it preemptively. He won't have time to react yet. There it is. They can just respect this, right? They, they don't have to go anywhere here because there's still not a lot of answers. And with how slow Astralis have played, they could just be loitering in lobby with Blame F behind the main position, hiding behind T-Red. So you don't actually know what's on the other side just yet. And I think Esetag might be getting a bit of a rude shock here as the smoke's starting to fade. And here they come. Yeah, it's a passive angle from him. He's, he like, oh, they baited with the jump. Glaive, you genius. He did one there. Yeah, he did. That could be the round already. I think yeah, it is. Just like that. Just like that. Device is having a look. He's already plugged one from the pack. More to come, perhaps. Lucky. Oh, what was that? It was Blame that knocks him down. And still Hampus trying his best. Has lost his rifle and his life. And now it's up to Rez and Plopsky. 20 frags. But need to leave with 23 unless Plopsky oh, can find something here there. on ramp. Glaive low. A quick reaction shot from Plopsky if he's not precise. But he is, Glaive with the headshot, and Astralis with the round. Looking to exit now. Rez allowed safe passage through his own prowess. He takes down Lucky, and will at least preserve the rifle. We actually saw Lucky go for that, that little maneuver. I know he didn't get the kill. It looked like he did, but he went for that maneuver in a clutch just the other day. He didn't win it, but I thought it was quite smart. It's obviously something that he has in his repertoire, a way that he likes to operate once they limp that smoke out the door, elevate over the box, and use it as a bit of a one-way. So cool to see that he has a couple of things he goes to within his mental playbook. But that, that, that right there from Esetag, in that kind of a position, I know it's not easy. And I can see, and we can see, that there's four players coming on the X-ray. But you need to be in a position if you are anchoring. Like you're the first point of contact to get one kill. Right? One and done, acceptable. Nothing. Nah, 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 nah. So let's run with this whole idea. We're underhanding it, and we're using that to peek over the left side of ramp. What's the, the kind of default bog standard util for the right side peak of ramp? Are you just going win, getting window control and molly in it? I mean, what do you... Uh, the way that the Danes traditionally do it, right, is once they have that control room window control, they will like to smoke and molly off, but uh, lucky I think that's a bit more of a situational maneuver than uh, a, a go-to standard protocol. Whereas if you do have all the nades, all the goodies, you will, once you get the windows, you lob a smoke off the wall, you lob a molly off the wall, and you have both sides completely locked on down. But this here for NIP, dire straits right now, it's three deagles, a 5.7, and the saved AK-47. How much can they get out of this one? Looking like a 9.6. Yeah, and let's hamper starts lining up and racking up with the deagle. The body shot's not sufficient. And into the quick pace again. Blame could have a lovely timing here. He smoked off for now, but CTs. They've heavy rotated. Full rotated. Yeah. Look at that. The well, power of battered. a frag, yeah. They've been battered down here, so you can understand why they rotate, and they don't have a lot of util to work with as well, so they want to put themselves in positions where they can find impact. But by doing this, they might have actually taken themselves out of the round here. Unless the Stars continue forward, and well, as Glaive has a look, it feels Ooh, that They heard the likely. rifle. They know there was only the one. Does that imply, does that pull them further in? Who smokes? Contact, hard shots, S attack, manages his deagle well. Could still be a competitive one here, and Astralis are trying to back That's up. That's a gap out. and a half. Yeah, my massive gap. And look at this from Rez. Oh, that was a chance, there's still one. Now the bomb drops, and just before he can round the corner. The First half, we'll see how he keeps trending right here with that P250 in hand over towards Yard as it's being lined on up here from S attack. Bit of a Na'Vi flavor to that. Oh, he's hitting shots like he would. Hopefully he can hit a couple more. Passive stance here is lucky towards heaven. Could be the first to greet this. 
Lurk Smoke limped on out towards front of Main, and across they go. Warning nice. shot fired, information spotted, and rotations coming in. Yeah, configs are uh, interesting that he's opted for an armored CZ. Let's see how far that gets him. Campus caretaking the lobby. Doors are swung open. There's contact all over the map, and uh, Rush is somehow keeping track. Campus does find the opener. They've still got a lovely crossfire established here, but they're running out of players elsewhere. S attack chips away top. at Glaive and surely vent to top. Yeah, it's wide open. Yep, uh, decision. Oh, oh, and he's been caught off guard there. Wasn't quite ready for it. Hasn't gone down, but the bomb has. Oh, yeah. yeah, and it's that a mouse game. Versus three. And it's oh. clean from Hampus to finish the job. Lucky, one man on a mission. He was good in the clutch, Lucky, but I think a one-on-five mm. might be out of his remit right now. And uh, Do you just... not remember that super close nuke 1v5? The Tech 9? Oh, he got yes. like four of yes. them? That was, yeah, he's had some wild <laughs> He's had a couple of those. I, I want to make a couple of things here quite clear within this round. Config with the CZ, you asked the question about that. He had the best spawn. Right, And as a top defender, you like to give them Julies or a CZ or something like a 5-7 that they can wield because you want need to be extra spammy if a top rush comes in. And second of all, the reason they pivoted Vent to top was because Config is the player to deal with Squeaky Door slash the Vent rotation and he died. So they knew that they were able to go back up that Vent with a little bit less resistance here. But that's both pistol rounds now for NIP. And in a best of one, that tends to be the recipe for success. And oh, Hampus trying the luck with the pistol again. Dig on up, 35 points of health remain. And warning shots fired either way is device bowling from him. Beautiful stuff. Even the follow-up is great. And the third, not too far away either. Yeah, he's got a good shot at this. He's got a good understanding as to where those last two CTs do reside. Zip and blame. Partnered up and tagged up as well. It's going to be interesting, right? I think obviously a lot of people came in here with high expectations for Astralis of what they had just seen, right? And, and I'm not ruling them out of the tournament after a best of one loss by any means, but that momentum, right? Think about what they had. Honeymoon phase, as well as two individuals playing some lights out Counter-Strike in config and then Blame being the Bash brothers in tow. But as well as that, nobody knew about their map pool. Nobody knew about the positions they were playing. Nobody knew that Lucky wasn't orping, right? Now this has been identified. You've been able to regather yourself, right? You've been able to understand you watch a demo. Oh, this guy plays here. This is a tendency of his. These things you can actually start to study now and find out, but let's see. Do oh, how Hampus, many resistance? you cocky boy. Kept the usp? He's just usping. Okay. And he's dead. That's all right. Punished, spanked by Glaive for the ego. Now... Yeah, rightfully so, I think. See how this one spirals. Blame. Oh, he's mopping up. Looks like it's perfect for Astralis. Not a blemish on the record. Device does just throw one little haymaker to blame. But the quickest and most secure of the round so far. Astralis will take that. Yeah, a, a curious approach there, right, from NIP. When you could have had a full gun round, you knew that you were going up against a buy here that wasn't going to be the strongest. And the reason you can identify that is because they had USPs in the previous, right? They didn't force buy. So you know, at best, you got the 2900 rifle, you got Kevlar coming through at 650, you're going to be light on nades, and you'll be light on defuse kits. But now they're fully bought up. Everybody with a full bag of nades on their back pocket. Head armor even a treat for a few. There is full buys for both. No big greens in players. Glaive sneaks across, finds himself a home in secret. And very lobby heavy once more from NIP, who again turned their attention towards ramp. Yeah. Oh, denied. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Zip. Are you home? Not today, kids. At least not for another 15. Lucky. Oh, the door is completely naded off, so Esetag will be a bit more cautious with his approach. It doesn't look like a full reset for a late wall of smokes. They only have one smoke, though, uh, so... Uh, uh. Yeah, their options become very limited at this point right here. This is kind of what we saw from Astralis in their first half, where they were limping around the map. They... A bit like headless chooks. Yeah, you can see this crossfire is actually quite nice. It's passive, but they will get all the info on the slip. Ooh. Oh, Glaive. Glaive's in a lot of trouble. Calling for Blame's aid. Anything. A flash would be great. He's molotov down. Oh, He's just cooked. Device again with more util kills. Back to back. And this time on the gun round. 45 seconds. Now, the clock got the better of Astralis. Will NIP manage those seconds better? This is a gift, though. That opener right there feels like a little bit of a misplay there from Glaive. It looked good. But I couldn't convert off the info he had. And now, as you're right, the clock is ticking. There's pressure from Config and Lobby. This could stop them in their tracks. Yeah, he's got a good chance here. Good chance. An S attack. Very sharp. He takes down Config oh, in that duel. And one by one, 
picked apart. They could be running straight into the domain. There's a world. There's a Needs universe. A Maybe we live in it. Bomb loose, but just the one. They've got time to pick it up. Get that bomb planted. Lucky. A one versus four. Uh-oh. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> if, if miraculously he hits that first double dink and disappears behind the door, there's, there is a world and we would be living in it. Now that right there, it looks pretty good when you consider how many players stay alive. But really with 12 seconds left, if Lucky gets one, drops away, they're still trying to find his position. They try and plan again. That actually could have fallen out of favor for the Ninjas right here. But Esatag with a nice shot gets himself up to eight, uh, nine kills now. He even found another one there towards the tail end of this. So not too bad, not too bad. Device starting to chip on up the scoreboard. 15 for him, 13 for Hamperson. Pistols for the Danes here. They are really up against the wall right now. This is not a place you want to be. And Glaive, indecision. Does he go forward? Does he go back? Well, right now he has to stay put. Oh, he gets flashed in, but they do have someone anti. It's S attack. Putting his name in the feed in the opener. Zip to be pressured. Blame missing his first and won't get many more opportunities now. Zip has at least Cole Device. Oh, okay. That's a, a goosh Robbed. for nine damage. Robbed. For nine damage goosh. It's the name of my first album, I think. I think Hampus isn't going to be expecting this angle. Yeah, you just got to get the perfect click. Oh, that is gorgeous. All right. Take that and take the AK. Could they take the round, chat? It's looking very likely now. The four on five situation. If they could scoop up that ramp AK as well, they're really, really starting to find themselves in a good position now. Pivoting back towards lobby. Rez. He's alive, though, and he is 23 frags to the good. Can you get a 24th? Glaive, only a pistol. He has to on down, though. Concedes to blame F's recovered rifle. Kept humble. And just like that, the recovery's on. Last zip. Just now advancing up the secret stairs. Doesn't have the weapon or equipment. Oh, he has a couple of options. He can just go for this through main. Smoked off now. Does he actually want to try his chance? He could go towards heaven and pick up that AK from Blame's body. That would be the better of the two decisions right here, right now. Keeping it simple on their uh, stabilization there. Walking on out. I do like the gold AK. I know it's a bit cliche. I know FPS games and golden gun. It took a long time. I think Valve were very stubborn. They didn't want to have any gold in AK-47s. Well, maybe, you know, some of our, uh, our player base aren't too familiar with Goldeneye, and they didn't really understand the connotations of that weapon. Yeah, true. The golden gun was like a, a notorious. Wasn't it just? Weapon. Running around an odd job because you were the smaller model, couldn't be, couldn't be seen. Yeah, why was he like a leprechaun? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Like, the actor was pr a pretty well-built tall man. I, I don't remember. Is he tall? I, no, I don't, I, I don't know. James Bond is not my specialty nor by any mine. means. You have to ask Jason if you want to know about James Bond. Yeah, I guess it's more around his era, isn't it? Yeah, maybe Trace can ask him about the, uh, the golden days. But this is it. Uh, almost getting down to the last few chances here for Astros. 13 to 7, the score is read. Glaive brings out the big green and config. Ouch, that's some grenades. And Device with another utility kill. Yeah, he is racking him up. That's number three by my count. Could even be more in that first half. Let's find out. Device deploying that wall of smokes nice and early. Extra special treat waiting for him at spawn. And the crisscross. Ooh, Glaive just before they bloom. Hampus a little ahead of the pack and has been punished for it. Blame can call this clear slash quits. He doesn't have to do too much. And a weird smoke to imply a vent dive. There's two at ramp right here. Glaive's here actually joined up with Zips. They are reading this well. This should be the lockdown right now if NIP dip their toe in the water. Dang. Oh, just like that. Glaive racks them up. Zip two. A double for both of them, leaving Device in an impossible scenario. Set for an eight now. Astralis just counting on Device to go down. Damage here should be name of the game right now for Device. Any kills he can find would be great, but spotted from heaven. Info now in the favor of Astralis as they hone on in on his position. The steps Lucky. are coming. Here they go. Device with one. Very one. aggressive. How many more? Ah, uh, Blame should seal this. This should be done in the what? back. What? Okay. Ace clutch? Oh, it would have been a very nerdy flash as well. But look at him. He's looking proactive. He's looking fierce. He's got a point to prove. That must have been a screamer on the yeah, blame. I can't believe it. Oh, this is impossible for him. Yeah, Zip will knock him down eventually. Between the two of them, Glaive <laughs> and Zip get the job done. But damn, if Device didn't try. It was those three players alone right there who almost took out the entire server. So Device, Zip and Glaive uh, remembering when they were on the team together, I suppose. 
Yeah, no, I think Zip and Glaive are going, God, you know, this guy's pretty good. We should maybe, uh, is he Danish, you say? We need an AWPA. We do need an AWPA. He is an AWPA. All right. That shot, though, onto Blaine must have been massive. Must have been an absolute banger right there, but... Yeah, you, you, you could see what was happening. Glaive had actually read the play very well. So after his opening, staying mobile. And because they were down, remember, you just have to think what's going through the calls of the T side, right? All right, Orps here. We know we're in a four on four. We should be able to isolate a single duel. This is where it comes a little bit gambly. But it, you can say it's gambling or you can say it's reading your opponent. Now, when it works, right? Well, you've read your opponent quite well. But it is a risk, right? It is a bit more of a risk. Now, do have another tech. But well, that's uh, a yeet from me. Yeah, we'll see, Ooh, we'll see, we'll wee. see. But here we go. The buy in. A couple of omissions here with... Two pistols in play. Hampus with a dig. That's a tag. He's quick. With the tech as to wreckers, but you're right. He is very quick. And blame on high alert. Yeah, he's quicker. He's not stopping. Hampus. Uh, 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 mm. Blame knows. Blame no. No. Uh, <gasps> Did he, he see him? He he surely. So, he yeah, but this is so odd. The pathing that Hampus is taking right now oh. is really weird. Oh, oh. It's so backwards, Blame. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming at Blame. Vance, you madman. Well, I thought he was going up top. That's yeah, what Blame that would have been crazy. Too, right? You're expecting him just to... Because you wouldn't expect a player to be coming up the vent like that. And Device has, in the meantime, taken all this space. Okay, this is getting weird. Yeah, it gets weirder. Lucky. Could get a double. Kept to the one. They know that two were lower, though. They know that Blame and Glaive were both in the lower side. Touche. So surely we walk on into that top side. It's config, and he's been fouled. The timing on that wide swing, he just crab walks out. Eliminates the threat. Device on Plomsky partner up. Plomsky man's everywhere. Working with a limp, and look at this. Completely books config. Device around the world. Safe plan, and he's got a good angle here for that hut walkout and that vent crawl. Considering all his options, he has to react now. They know where he was. Not going to be fun, not going to be easy. Device, what a shot! Maybe another up against his old leader. Take your time, take your time. Bomb ticket in your favor. Smoke now deployed on the bomb, though. Doesn't have the health to contend with Glaive's pistol. He's holding it. Device has got another clutch in the bag. Four kills to his name. He re does not relent. Massive stuff from Device here within this game alone. That's two one-on-two -on -two situations. He's able to win, right? He had the AWP round in the first half, and right there, too easy as you like. And that was a one-on-two, but he won the round almost single-handedly. The opening kill... Both double orping and both hitting every shot they hit. Yeah, well, now they're going to have to get it done with a scout of Famous and a couple of deagles around that. This is looking like NIP are going to net up this... Happen. Remember, everybody at home, this is a best of one. Best of one is the establishing games right here at IEM Windsor. The rest of the matches will be best of threes for elimination or progression through the bracket. Yeah, and the fact that you just said that last word, sentence. Oof, okay, device legged. Oh, could be finished off. Just about escapes his fate. Hampus doesn't have armor. Yeah. Just an FYI. That's like the in-game leader sa leadership sacrifice on a whole new level. Yeah, he's going to go down real easy here, unfortunately. You say that. He's got device to babysit him, but yeah, look how much damage that one Deagle bullet did. Claim should have him dead to rights if his booty pokes out at all, but he's actually going to concede it. So, pressure, definitely on. He's so lucky to be alive here, but the fact that they're both so low, one of the worst case scenarios right now for NIP is to lose this round and then look at all the upgrades. Well, you're gonna get an AWP and a bunch of AKs out of this right here. That could be horrible for NIP, whose loss bonus is bottom of the barrel. And because Device won the clutch, they're not operating with residual cash right now. So this could actually be a swing round if Astralis can pull this off. Yeah, this would change everything. The dialogue was about to be. You were talking about brackets. I mean, there you go. That's how the dialogue was at. And here they come, pop it in. A chance on Lucky. One will not cut it. Maybe Config can. Distraction on Heaven would be perfect if they could just bait Config. Backs a turn, no. Rez still ready. Only zip and blame. And one by one, they'll surely fall. The deal in the feed keeps it competitive, at least for a moment. No kit. They need headshots and they need them now. NIP could just misplay them themselves here. But the headshots are coming in. And a recovery of sorts, blame. Good on the dig, but not today. Now, before we got rudely interrupted by the rounds, you were saying... Uh, the, Brackets. Yeah. What I was saying is that best of one, because it's a bracket, it will condemn you to a lower bracket run. And it's all best of threes, lower bracket run. Like, it, it, this establishing game holds weight. I know you're saying it's just, quote unquote, uh, just a best of one, but it really does. It immediately hinders your chances of running to the playoffs. You're, you're right, because the lower bracket, only one team will get through the lower bracket to the playoffs, and that'll be in the quarterfinals. Whereas two teams with the upper bracket, one will qualify for the 
semi and one will qualify for the quarter, right? So uh, it is really important right now, this best of one. So this is great for NIP. And that was really well handled with their utility in the last. And again, it's another broken buy. UMPs, upgraded pistols, an MP9 for good measure. NIP are looking to close this one out and oh, really rub the salt in the Astralis wound right here. Sure, you want it blast, but now you know, have to struggle here at IEM Winter. Staying composed, lobbing out the smokes. Towards Yard, they turn their attention. Lobby aggression seems to be the answer, seems to be the response right here. And while well, Plopsky's opened the account device ah. with one of his own, and this one here, I don't want to say it, but I think it's done. Yeah, revenge. NIP, at least in the uh, opening game, has been found. That's going to be a confidence booster for sure. Device. The penultimate frag.